64 businesses that participated in a survey plan to increase their employee numbers, while 21% said they would need to shed jobs. A report came out last week that South African companies are likely to shed jobs in 2014. Some of the companies mentioned are Telcom, Sasol, Harmony Gold and Tiger Brands. To speak to us more about this, Michael Bagram, he is a labor analyst or labor attorney one should say at the South African Chamber of Commerce. No, you're just a labor analyst, you're not with the South African Chamber of Commerce. No anymore. longer. No. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, welcome you. Thank you very, very much for joining us here on, on, the, on the program. Um, shedding jobs uh, 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 this year, is, is, this a, is this a harsh reality we could be facing? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, we're looking at 2014 as being a difficult year. Not only are the big companies shedding jobs, it looks like many of the smaller companies are in a holding position. Uh, we're going to see a problem with manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And even with the weak RAND, the manufacturing seems to be put on hold. No one that I've spoken to in terms of small companies is planning uh, a move upwards this year. There are certain industries that are looking, um, for instance, in Cape Town in tourism, they're looking to expand. I know the security industry around the country is looking to expand. So there are certain industries that we're looking for that. And of course, the message is, when you as a student are going out to do some sort of tertiary education, uh, one would look at the industries that are going to expand so mm. that you can ensure you've got a job. What's also important as a message is that anyone who has a job, hold on to it. It's a valuable asset, especially for 2014. Wow. We've got a bit of a problem this year, uh, and that problem is not going to be easily resolved. Um, one has to look at it also in global terms. The, the economy around the world is starting to pick up, but we're seeing a lot of jobless growth. Mm. Uh, agriculture, for instance, are mechanizing. So although they're getting the growth and we're seeing the, the movement upwards, they're not employing more people. And that came from those strikes that we saw at the end of last year. Yeah. And also at the end of the day, the mining industry is also on hold. So we, we've got a holding position in many industries. Uh, what's interesting, and the AdCore research tells us this, is that atypical jobs seem to be growing. And talk, in, uh, describe an atypical an job. An atypical job is not the nine to five for 20 years. It's a job where you uh, sell your skills, for instance, for six months to this company or three months to that company through labor brokers, temporary employment services. That's growing all around the world. Yeah. Um, and despite the fact that we're putting pressure on it from the labor law side, uh, we're expecting some changes to our labor legislation in about June. It should be implemented in about June 2014 this year, yeah. those changes will put pressure on the temporary employment services. They call it TES. Those temporary employment services should, however, be in a growth phase because the world is showing us that, mm. that mm. people are getting jobs through temporary employment services. Sure. And a job is a job. Uh, the other problem that we've got is Kasatu is pushing for decent jobs. Um, and one understands that a job is better than no job. Mm. Um, so yes, the government is putting a discussion on the table about minimum wages and about decent jobs. We must understand as the public that that shouldn't be the issue. The issue should be getting a job. Getting a job, not necessarily a decent job, although people, people do want the decent jobs. And, oh, no, and that brings me to my next question is, is, is strikes, because it's also mm -hmm. foreseen that 2014 could almost outpace uh, 2013 when it comes to labor strikes. And last year was defined by uh, very horrific strikes, if one could say that. And, and it really, really did dent mining and it dented labor quite a lot, which is the employer's biggest headache. Is this true? Do you foresee bigger strikes and uh, labor really taking to the streets this year? Yes, I do. Um, unfortunately, we are now in the midst of a massive strike. That massive strike that we're seeing right now um, I think is at least comparable to what we saw last year. You recall that we lost 5 billion rand to the fiscus uh, last year. These strikes, unfortunately, are going to continue. Um, although now government has taken it seriously, if you recall the first Marikana strike, um, our minister was wholly absent. Um, she's now stepped in in a big way, Minister of Labor and Minerals. Both ministers have stepped in. The CCMA have taken this extremely seriously, and we're starting to look at lateral ways. What is a way in which we can actually 
uh, try and resolve the strikes before they happen. Yeah. Um, I know I go into wage negotiations and I'm busy doing that right now. And at the first meeting, we have a discussion saying, um, if you don't give us our increase, what we demand, we're going to a strike. That's the first meeting. Mm. Now, that's very un-South African. Yeah. We're in people of negotiation, and we need to push for that. Push that. So I think South Africa is, is looking at that right now. All right. Before I let you go, completely different question. Rumors making the rounds that you're on the, uh, the DA's candidate list. Um, mm. Talk to us about this. Could we be interviewing in a very different conversation the next time I see you? Yeah, I'm going to wear a, a nice hat next yeah. time I come here, hopefully. Good. Yes, I am. Um, I'm very interested in labor. I'm interested in making sure that small business survives and thrives. Um, and the cornerstone is to make sure that people get jobs. That's the real point, and I'm looking at that very strongly. Okay. Uh, the DA have given me a nod, so I'm quite excited. Um, I'm happy about it. It's a change of lifestyle for me, but yeah. I'll have to work for a change. All right, so politics, the next move for Michael Bagram. Well, good luck to you. We'll be watching closely. And uh, uh, also, thank you very much for talking to us about the labor landscape here in uh, South Africa for the year 2014 and what to expect. Not, not too good news, job shedding and lots of strikes. That, in a nutshell, sums up 2014 if we have to predict it, unfortunately.